Now I gotta be like, is my audio actually working? <laughs> ah! Have you ever dreamed about stars before? I have once dreamt about stars. I don't remember the dream because it was so very long ago. But today we're playing a game called I Dreamed of Dead Stars, which is a little bit different than my usual dreams. But hey, let's check this out together. I've always been told that my emotions are a gift, that they are essential to live life to the fullest, enjoy every last bit of it. I mean, without emotions, how will we know pleasure? Love? Compassion. Hate. Oh. Hate wasn't a question. Hate was an emotion of the past. Ah, jeez, I caught that. I think emotions are a plague. A parasite. Feeding on you, growing inside you, like a tumor. Emotions are only useful once you get rid of them. And it hurts. But pain is proof that you're growing. Ascending to something greater. In this land of sorrow, I call for you. But you don't seem to hear me. Because I'm still too happy. I can't be called out upon if I'm still happy. Look, my room is so beautiful and pink. Even though I dress like a gothic, more darker sort of presence. <laughs> There's nothing of interest inside. Oh, alright. Well, you're lame. No, no, no clothes. <laughs> I almost said panties. There are clothes inside, but then I was really like, oh wait, I'm this person. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I recently watched a couple of animes where there are uh, of perverted characters, like usual. <clears throat> the fridge is empty. A weird flower. And there's a door outside. But why would I go there so soon? Mom says hi. <laughs> I just walk up to the door. Hi, honey. Okay. <laughs> Leaves immediately. Oh, wait. Can I? Will it change? Nope. Nope. Alright. Just seeing what type of game this is. Oh, look how beautiful and wonderful this house is as a creepy girl with a mask just walks away. But yeah, she had beautiful pink hair which lets me know that she is very friendly. And look as these clouds move as I walk, but then they just suddenly stop. Freaky! You know, this art style is very simple, but I actually enjoy it. I don't know why. Like, it's the plainest thing in the world. <laughs> it's literally just lines in one solid color. But I enjoy it. It's a good good splash of different colors, I'd say. Like, they actually work together well. I hate you. Die, die, die. No. If that's the case, I'm out of here. You're rude. I'm going back home. <laughs> uh, if only I could. Hey, there's a sign here. Danger zone. Civilians keep out. Oh, I like how you would like this to happen, but then the front door is wide open. There's not even any tape that tells me to stay away. Contam containment room. Okay. It's closed shut. No containment room for me. Ah, a bed. How wonderful. Someone probably sleeps here. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess that's probably the case. It's closed shut. Is this really it? Yep, I guess that's really it. Alright, this house was useless. Oh, I didn't even know. Don't even knock on their door. Don't barge in. I'm a kind person. Oh, I go on top of you and then that's it. Cool. No conversations. Crystals Club, Baseball Club, Literature Club. The last one gives me bad memories. Oh, literature. Ugh, I hate reading. People are killing themselves because they don't believe in God. Come with us, you will be saved. That's inside a school? Oh my goosh. What club are you joining this year? Oh, you do talk to me. The Crystals Club sound cool, but I've heard that you can only enter through invitation. In that case, was that what I was supposed to do to talk to people? Actually face them? <laughs> Did you hear about the new cult? No. Hey, I didn't. <laughs> if you can make your wishes come true, what would you wish for? Is it called the Dead Stars Cult? It seems a lot of people are committing suicide recently. Wow, that's that's dark. Suddenly dark. Oh, hey, look, it's the lady. I'm pretty sure she's not the person wearing the mask. Clearly not. It's the principal's office. Greetings, idiot. 
Hi, smart person. Ho ho, how you like being called that, huh? Yeah. Man, I don't really feel like it anymore at this point. Aw, oh, jeez, don't do it. I'm starting to become worried about my friends lately. The literature club is boring. Then, uh, don't join it. This is the room for inside club's activity. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear about that new religion? It's spreading like a disease. Haha, <laughs> hi, how are you? Should I need a field? Wanna hang out with us this Saturday? We're gonna go buy crystals. Honestly, if you're not joining the crystals club, what are you even doing? Explain to me what this crystal club is. Are we making crystals like sugar crystals? Or are crystals like a, a euphorism for something? Class 2A. Class 1A. Principal's office. Greetings, idiot. Oh, I love it when you insult me. Oh, that's why I come to school. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Uh, okay. Well, that was pleasant. Very wonderful. Do I need to go back here? Will I get jumped by the occult? Will I join the occult? Am I the occult? Am I the only person in this cult? That I, I make it sound like I'm 50 people and I'm spreading it all over the internet. Is there the internet here? Sekai Onodera. I think she's 18. Will anything happen if I go back home? What if I say hi to mom again? She just says hi, and that is all. I don't need to sleep. Alright, well, this game is interesting. Can I go this way? Nope. Did I miss something in the school? Oh, I was supposed to take my seat. The lesson have ended. But there's no teacher. Time to go home. Oh, alright. Well, sure. I, I accept it. Boring. Are you still being sad? Oh, man. This whole entire time, that's all you did all day. <gasps> Pink-haired lady's gone. You think she's evil or something? She can't be the occult member. Could she? She probably is. <laughs> I know it's time to go home, but I just really enjoy coming into this this abandoned like home. Where it's dangerous. I strive on the word danger. Risk. Something like that, right? Is that how the phrase goes? <laughs> Mom, you'll never believe what I learned today in school. There's a cult home. Mom does not care. I sleep, sleep then. I feel so tired, I might just sleep. Ikai. Sekai. Who be calling my name at night? Mom, is that you? Mom says don't be late for school. <laughs> okay, Mom. I will go to school then. I like how she's more rude today than she was yesterday. Yesterday she was like, hi. Now she's like, hi. Don't be late for school. Jesus, mom. I got your panties in a knot. <laughs> See, that's a saying I know. Alright, you think we'll see pink haired lady today? I think we will. Maybe we won't. And maybe there'll be a third day that we see her. Yeah, you, you said You told me last time. Okay, well you guys are still talking about the same things each and every day. Greetings, idiot. Um, okay, well, guess I'll just go back to school, take my seat, learn my lesson. Go back home, fall asleep. <laughs> oh god, I live a simple and tedious life. <laughs> Pink haired girl, are you there? You're, you seem to be the one with the most character. <laughs> Your phone? Oh, I do have a phone. Hello, it's Marai. Oh, hey, you didn't come to school today. Yeah, it has something to do, don't worry. Anyhow, 
can you come into the danger zone? The danger zone, why? I have to show you something, pretty please. Okay, it's on the way home anyway. Yay, see you there then. Great. I love going to the danger zone. Is that what the kids dub it? The danger zone. Is that where all the cool kids hang? What do you do? The drugs have the sex. Are you the cool person? Uh, if you'll excuse me, someone wanted to show me something cool. A dear friend of mine. Hey, you actually came. Did you know about the Christos Club? Oh, is that the cult? I actually joined it and it's full of cool people. Even though they're pretty weird. <laughs> New boss lady, leader of the cult club is just right next to you. Hey, I joined their cult. You're pretty weird though. <laughs> They apparently get from someone this experimental drug. I don't know how to describe it, girl. You should try it for yourself and see. Eat drug? No, thank you. And I thought you were better than that. No, no. Don't don't think badly of it. It was an experimental medicine used to cure psychosis. Apparently it had weird effects on the patient, so its production was cancelled. Or so it appears officially. Where I handed you some pills. If you don't trust me, just throw them out, okay? I won't be offended. What entertainment would that be? See you tomorrow. This is your bed. Can I sleep here? Alright, I guess I'll save so I can do the drugs. And then I can not do the drugs. That seems to be how this works. Oh boy, I can't wait to go home. Say hi to mom. Pretend I'm not suspicious. Do the drugs. Join the Crystals Club. And wear a mask. That would be great. And at the end of the day, I'll be dreaming of dead stars. Mom! I came back from school. What are you talking about? Clearly someone else is on those drugs, you know? Eh. Frick it. You swallow all the pills Mariah gave you? Uh, okay. Good night. <laughs> all of them? Oh, gosh. See, look what you did. This is what happens when you swallow all of them. Should have just swallowed one. Oh, great. There's a person in my dreams now, too. Sakai. Why? Oh, are you mom? Am I doing weird stuff, IRL? Am I in her room? Okay. I was like, am I in her room right now? I don't need to sleep. Well, that was one fun trip. Mom hopes you slept well. Oh. I speak in third person now, too. Well, not really third person, but I narrate the lives of others. You should join the Christmas Club. Okay, I'm April. Look for me. But if somebody asks, you haven't heard of me. You haven't seen me, and you don't know me. <laughs> As she slowly creeps back, <laughs> April hands you some pills. Bye bye. <laughs> You're ridiculous. This cult is, it's dumb. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll take the pills. Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. It seems. All right, now should I join the cult? Should I go to school? Mom hopes I slept well. Something like that, right? Yeah, I'm part of it. Oh, hey, look, you guys are part of it too. Join the Christmas Club. Join the Christmas Club. What club are you joining this year? Ooh, I now know the identity of every Crystal Clubians. Join the Christmas Club. It's the principal's office. Where's the sad folk? Oh, I see. Oh, well, you didn't join the Crystal Club. That's why you're so sad. Join the Crystal Club. Join the Crystal Club. I'm surprised that you're not part of the Crystal Club. But then again, I guess I wouldn't want you to be part of the Crystal Club after you say that. Hey, Sakai, is everything all right? You look like you haven't slept. I'm fine. Did you try it? No, I threw it away. I don't use medicines. Well, you do you then. Oh, wow, I'm lying. What, do I have an image to, to project? <laughs> the lessons have ended. Time to go home. Oh, hey, she's gone. Join the Christmas Club. Join it, join it, join it! I can just imagine that as I'm running around, 
I just hear, hey, the, the, the girl who told said greetings idiots no longer there. Dang it, I want to know if she was part of the Christmas Club or not. Alright, do I get a choice to join the Christmas Club? Oh, hey, look. Hey, I'm May. April isn't here today. So, aren't you introducing yourself? I'm Sakai. Well, Sakai, welcome to the Christmas Club. I want to talk about your initiation. I'm sorry. Hey, your friend is doing it too. We will call you every day and give you a small challenge. If you can take it, you will proceed. If you can't, you'll be kicked out of the club. What type of challenges? We will see. You can go home for now. Bye bye Am I just supposed to take it? Well, any context? I don't even know who you guys are. What is the Crystal Club anyway? It's about ascending from material desires. Oh, so basically, minimalism. <laughs> we know you're one of us. You're different. You know, suffering. You're not ready. Go home now. <laughs> the blonde chick is like, hmm, it's not suffering enough. Give her time. Let it incubate. You're just gonna do me like this, uh, fine. Bye, bye jerk. <laughs> fine, I'll go home. I'll do my crystals. And I'll save in a different slot. I can't tell what I'm highlighted over. That's sneaky. Okay. Gonna go home. Talk to mom's door. Do some more of these drags. And then we will see what happens next. Mom hopes you slept well. Come on, Mom. It's now in the afternoon slash evening. How can you still be hoping me of these things? You take the pills. Oh boy, what do you think we'll see next? Dead stars. Oh, hey, look. Uh, 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 uh. You. <laughs> you. Hey, you're not wearing a mask. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, your line is starting to blur. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, this is what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, don't do drugs. It's bad for you. Mom. Mom, no. No. No, 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 no. She wasn't talking to me this whole time. I was just assuming things. Gosh. How dark is this? I, I like how I don't break down in tears. I just say, oh, here we go. Why? Why did this happen? This is all just a shitty freaking dream, right? This is all just a... Oh, same stuff. Okay. I like she, how she doesn't comment about the eyeball. Staring at me. Yes. But that's cool. What's this doing here? Ooh, is that part of the dread eggs? Is that where it comes from? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, is that you? Ikai. Sekai. Mom loves you. Please don't hate Mom. I may have made a mistake. It is okay as long as you're good. How? How did this happen? I just wanted you to be safe. And for you to know, it's not your fault. For what happened to Haru. She has nothing to do with this. I know. I just wanted you not to waste your life. Please shut up. I don't want to hear it. This is all just some picked up drug trip. I, I don't believe it. This is not human. You are not human. You are not my mother. Stop talking to me. Oh. Jesus. So maybe her little sister, whoever this Haru person died, and then the mother killed herself in her room, and all this time, I just didn't allow myself to accept it. Until he did drugs. Drugs allowed me to accept it, apparently. Did you want me to go see her again? No? Did you want me to do the sleep sleep? Please, I just want to sleep. Let me be. I guess I do just do the sleep sleep. Sleep sleep. Sleep sleep. Hey mom. Oh. Oh jeez. This is where we learned the truth that she actually is dead in there. 
Uh, that's why I said mom says hi. Mom says that I hope you slept well. And more of mom's narrative things. Rena? Oh, hi, Sakai. You're back. I'm happy to see you. Yes. I saw someone enter the danger zone. I thought this place was off limits. Ah, well, not to the Crystals Club, apparently. The Crystals Club? The Mask Girls? Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> Indeed, I don't see why they would go around wearing masks if they were normal people. Oh, but we wasted enough time. Yeah, didn't they say they wanted to <laughs> remove themselves from material? <laughs> <laughs> uh, material desires or whatever and now they're like ooh we should all wear masks <laughs> we should be at school by now see you there then ah uh, crystal clubs teenagers are you a teenager are you confused where you want to do in life well don't join the crystal clubs for one you are a strong and an independent person who should also depend on others. You shouldn't go to school today. First day of your journey to become a Crystal Club member. Grats! Why? Is that all I have to do? Hey, but bye <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> You're so strange! <laughs> Someone probably sleeps here. Alright, so what do you want me to do? Go down here? It's closed shut. But bye Alright, you tell me I shouldn't go to school, but you don't give me the option to not go to school. Am I really doing this? Oh. Like, should I just go home then? Bye! Alright, I guess I'm really doing it. I dreamed of dead, 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 dead stars. Oh, hey. You? Me? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing near my house? Oh, so this is your house. Hey, I don't know. I kind of felt drawn here for some reason. Do we happen to know each other? Nope, don't think so. No. And just like that, our conversation was done. Sorry, I will leave now. Alright, bye bye Oh god, I'm turning into one of them. <laughs> frick, frick. What am I doing? Why is this happening? Is it their fault? Looking back at it, when was the Crystals Club created? I should ask Marai, but she might be at school. I can't go to school. Sky, hey Marai, are you still with the Christmas Club? Hi! Yeah, BTW. Why? When was this club created? Do you know it? Mmm, like one year ago maybe? LOL. Why? It's roughly the period when my life went to shite. So we don't talk about that, do we? But it is, is it just a coincidence? Look, if you need to talk, I can come to your place. Nah. You, me, and Reyna agreed not to talk about that stuff ever again. You have depressive episodes every time. I've had one single depressive episode. It just lasted a lot. <laughs> I'll punch you if I have to. Oops, lesson's about to start. See you soon. Smell you later. Well, <laughs> what decade are you guys from? Smell you later. Jesus Christ. I want to know the origin of that term. People usually actually just sniff each other and be like, Alright, see ya. Because <laughs> every saying comes from something, right? Wherever I go, whatever I do, all I can think about is you. Who you be thinking about? Oh, this is what you're thinking about? What the frick? Ooh. Ooh. This has to be a joke. Oh gosh, everything's so freaky. Freaky to the deaky. Uh. Okay. Can I go inside your mouth? Oh, I do go inside your mouth. Very schnicky. Uh. What the hell? You're the girl who was standing in front of my house today. I don't think so, no. I doubt that a lot. What happened to you? Ew. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Why am I even here? Why me? Ew. Like I said, don't do drugs. Sakai. Please come find me. I... Uh, I, I found you. There's no way in hell any of this is real. Don't talk to me. 
Don't come near me. Please shut up. Sakai, it's not your fault. Frick. Frick off. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Whatever you are, tormenting me like this. Don't you dare touch Haru. Haru. Sakai, it's me. The one and only Haru Miller, you know. Please trust me. Haru Miller? So we're not related? Why are you here? What is this place? Why did you... The Crystals know the answers to all of our questions, Sakai. The Crystals Club? Are they tied to all the suicides after all? But death is merely a middle stage. There is so much more to this universe. Oh, shut up. I must be tripping so hard right now. As always, Sakai, you talk, but you don't want to listen. Please come find me again when you're ready. And so then... Ooh. See the stars and watch them die. Oh. That sounds dark. So I know that this game is supposed to be some sort of uh, symbolism for depression as well as um, the tragedy of a death. But man, things are just so confusing right now. It's open? <gasps> oh, mama loves you. What is that thing? Ha! Huh. I forgot to lock the door. Well, this is mother. Mother? What remains of her? We intended to ask the crystals to do something about it, but they won't listen to us. Yet. So then, if you could wish for anything, what would you wish for? That's very clearly none of your business. Come on, world peace, fame, money, the childhood, favorite TV show back? At least lie, say something. Wish is don't come true, miracles don't exist. No matter how much you believe in something, life is about being born lucky. Don't you believe in God's karma? I don't. But you do believe in luck. Crystals are kind of like becoming lucky. So apparently you weren't born lucky. Who cares? Imagine it like, it's like a luck surgery. A cure for your luck handicap. Somehow that makes even less sense. What exactly are crystals? Magical talking rocks? You're sitting in front of the aftermath of a miserable misuse of crystals. Will I become some kind of alien destroying monstrosity too if I use them? If you don't know how to use them, yes. Oh, in that case, was eating them all at once a bad idea? That's the Crystal Club's purpose. We want to save everyone from the crystals. Did you not give me crystals? I get that it doesn't make a lot of sense. Wait, so the Crystal Club is tied to the suicides after all. What our followers do is none of your our business. We're only here to give in indications. Well, my mother freaking killed herself because of your indications. I'm uh, terribly sorry, believe me. But death is only a middle stage in this. You have to overtake it in order to achieve ascension. Again, that's why we are here. I can't give a poop. You talk like some kind of anti-hero from a comic book. Like I trust someone who won't ever show me their face. You people were monsters. You drug people and then drive them to suicide. No. No, we don't drug people. We try to keep them away from it. Drug. You're really convinced that you... What you saw is all an hallucination, aren't you? You're so blind. So, so blind. But I love you so. Keep being you. After all, it may, it's what makes you unique. Oh, as in this is the actual truth in a drug. But bye! And this is what's truly out there in the world. Ooh, that's twisted. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. That explains the kid who was like, died. Everything makes sense now. Holy gush. Okay, so everyone who's not wearing a mask are not cool. Join the Christmas Club. Join the Christmas Club. I'm surprised you're not part of the Christmas Club. I'm really surprised. All right, let's see what's new here. Good morning, Sakai. Morning. Mm, you do seem more blue than usual today. Did something happen? It's just, you know what? Frick it. I've been thinking about Haru again lately. Sakai, I thought we agreed. I know, but I've been having weird dreams. I'm listening. She's in a weird place. It looks like the inside of a giant tumor or something. She's asking me for help. To go and find her somewhere. I don't know. 
I say you should go see a therapist. Repressed guilt is having a weird effect on you. No, I've been talking, taking an experimental drug or something like that. You what? No, no, it was used to treat psychosis or something. I, I don't know. I don't know, Arena. I look so tired. I wish I could walk in your shoes right now. I made a huge mistake. I've entered the Crystal's Club. Are they drug dealers? No, but they're indirectly tied to all the suicides. I... No, you wouldn't believe me. I don't even believe this myself. I really think you should seek help. With that said, I will always trust my friend. Come with me to the danger zone. The danger zone? I have to prove that I'm not crazy. To myself, most of all. Yeah, Alright. Are you coming? I trust you, Sakai. Okay. I guess we will just teleport. Or at least that's what I see. But in reality, she's following right behind me. But it's... It's, it's the drugs, man. It's it's making me see the truth. People teleport. That's just it. It's open? Oh, wait, what? What, what is this monstrosity? This is the aftermath of a misuse of the crystal's power, apparently. The girl I talked to called it Mother. The crystals, what? What are you talking about? What is all this? I, mean, I don't know. But we know someone who can tell us more about it, I think. Mariah? She is in this too? She's been way before me. You girls are crazy. Why would you agree to enter such a club as beyond me? It just kind of happened. So what is our next move? Find Mariah and ask her about everything that she knows? Oh. So apparently, it's not the drugs that letting me allows me to see reality. So... That means the drugs actually did do this? The crystals, rather? Are the drugs and the crystal two separate things? I'm assuming that they are. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Look for Mariah? Alright, well, where would Mariah be? Would she be at school? It's the only place I can think of. Is Mariah the same person that calls me an idiot? No, probably not. Probably not. I already forgot. Mariah, you in here? Ha ha, I think you are. Let's ask Mariah. Hey Mariah. Why are you two looking at me so suspiciously? We need to tell know about the Crystals Club. Please, tell us everything you know about them. I don't understand, but okay. They're basically like a cult worshipping some kind of deity called Crystals. You have to overcome some challenges in order to enter. And when you become a member, they let you speak to the Crystals. Speak to the Crystals? Are you mad or something? You two never believe in me anyway, do you? Nobody does. <laughs> but at least April or May try. You don't understand. At least we believe in something. Have you been having weird dreams too? I have no weird dreams, only enlightening ones. But what about the suicides? Failing to overtake dr death leads to succumbing to it. It's only natural. Even the stars, they die to become something more powerful. Something that doesn't abide by the rules of this world. How much of that drug have you been taking exactly? That's it, I'm leaving. No, I really need to know. I can't just take them in batches. Please, I need a correct amount of dosage. Mirai, I'm going to follow her. Alright, I see you're in no rush to follow her. <laughs> I guess I'll be the one in a rush to follow her. She has entered the room for inside activity. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty nifty. Sakai, what is this place? Alright, so I guess it wasn't the drugs that's making me trip. Why did you follow me? What's with this place? How is it inside the school? Why did no one know? Naturally, you see, everyone knew. This is a crystal nest. The place where all the magic happens. Magic? What are you on about? I want admire to always be with me. Now she will never leave me. Isn't that great? No. No, it's terrible. That, that thing isn't your mother. It's a monstrosity. She's been disfigured beyond recognition. I, I, I have to I have to be perfect. You don't understand at all. I have to turn my life into a real masterpiece. Not this utter scrawl it's become since my mother died. She's going to take, make sure I don't waste my time and make useless moves. I'm nothing without her. You don't understand. You never understand. You only want to talk. You never listen. I'm done wasting my time. Oh... Alright. I, I just hope nothing bad happens to her. Let's leave her for be for now. Okay. Apparently I'll also leave you be. So apparently it's not the drugs that I took that made me all this happen. Because the blue haired chick, 
she's seeing all this too and she didn't take a single drug so it's it's not her it's 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 i don't know what's going on anymore i mean it's not the drugs it's something else i'm just starting to see reality and doing the drugs was just a uh maybe it was just a whatchamacallit uh one of those sugar pills the fake stuff Hey, look, you're still here. I don't want to be here. Let's go find... Oh. <laughs> you're funny. Alright, I guess I'm just going to bed, huh? Works for me. Had a crazy event happen to me today. What do I do? I leave everyone. And I take a sleep sleep. I go sleep sleep. I'm done here. I'm done with all this craziness. I just want a normal life. There's still some pills left. Club, 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 club. Your phone is ringing. Sakai, good morning. Hey, Reina, what's the matter? Come to the danger zone. I need you. She hung up immediately. I wonder what happened. Okay. Club, club, club. Club, club. Club, club, club. Club down all those pills. Mmm, delicious. Cop, cop, cop. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Why is this a turkey? <laughs> yeah. There's just so many things that's going on. And there's like no pa- ah, 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 wow. Great entrance. Okay. Jesus. You, creator, you really had fun with this one, didn't you? Those, those are my parents. I, I don't understand. Sakai, I don't understand. How did this happen to them? Is this real? Are you seeing them the way I'm seeing them? Reina, I don't understand what happened. Everything looks normal to me. Reina brings out a gun. You hear one gunshot. You hear two gunshots. You hear three gunshots. I mean, if it's right in front of me, why don't I see it? Where'd you get the gun, Reina? <laughs> So, this thing goes from 0 to 60, like, so, so many times. She gives you a bottle of pills. Th thanks. I'll just go home and gulp them all. Because that seems to be the only thing I want to do. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> like I said, guys. Don't do drugs. You swallowed the entire bottle of pills. Yeah, that's gotta be uh, good for me. I've always been told that my emotions are a gift, that they are essential to live life to the fullest, enjoy every last bit of it. I mean, without emotions, how would we know pleasure? Love, compassion, hate though. Hate is not a question. I think emotions are a plague, a parasite, feeding on you, growing inside you like a tumor. Emotions are only useful once you get rid of them, and it hurts. But pain, it's proof that you're growing, ascending to something greater. In this land of sorrow, I call for you, but you don't seem to hear me. Oh, okay. Who are you? Who am I? Who are we? Okay, well, the infection is spreading. Oh, I did not get it at all. <laughs> all right, let's let's just take a pause before we go into the next game and be like, so there's a drug, but the drugs and the crystals are two separate things. The drug does not relate to the things that we've seen because we saw Reyna affected by all this and she has not taken a single drug at all. So the drug probably helps suppress is it? Question mark? Maybe the crystals, which is the entity where everything kind of just becomes grotesque, happens because it's just happening and the drugs was just to prepare yourself for it. That must be it. 
I don't know though, it's, it's still a little bit odd. Overall, interesting game, but, but, this is not all. Because after you dreamed of dead stars, well, stars dream of dead people. Bum, bum, bum. I think this game is kind of getting to me. I, I should probably take a break. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. So I realized that you guys can't see the game title on the start screen, so I decided to pull up the game creator's page. That way you know what I'm, what I'm at least talking about. See, it, it's called I Dream of Dead Stars, and then the sequel is called Do Stars Dream of Dead People. So I, I was getting somewhere. I, I wasn't making things up. Just in case some of you thought the trippiness got to me. Questionably did. And I'm back. The trippy has left the system and we are hopping into If Stars Dream of Dead People. I wonder what it means by that. I don't exactly remember what happened before or shortly after the incident. Ooh, what if, what if, was her name Sakai? What if Sakai turned into a star? A dead star. For all that matters, I actually don't remember anything at all. But there was a woman. She used to call me a child of the crystals. I kind of remember being still a little girl, maybe five or so. Somehow I didn't see much of the outside world. It was just a normal red sky. One thing I remember is that there was a lot of chaos and noise, but not a single person in sight. Except for those three women dressed in pink. They called themselves Pink Society. I remember one of them talking a lot about very complicated stuff. Didn't understand any of it. The Pink Society, huh? Then I remember darkness, at least till I got here. I grew up inside this place. Never got to see the outside world, except through the windows of my room. This is a story of us, the children of the Christos. <laughs> my name is Double X. Wow, I guess I'm no longer the uh, main character from the first game. And I gotta say, already, much improvement from the first game. There's music, there's cool graphical images. Wow, you don't need to sleep. I like how you stare at the flower and you tell that flower that you don't need to sleep. And then you're like, nope, this flower's weird. Okay, <laughs> what's happening on the outside? Who knows? What are you up to? Ah, good morning, XX. Hope you slept well. I see. <laughs> if this person's name had an extra X in its name. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I did. I kept dreaming of the outside world, though. The outside world is a sensitive topic, you know. I know, but it sucks. Also, you keep mentioning the Pink Society. Am I explaining who they are? Oh, I wish I knew. It sounds like some kind of secret cult, because if it is, I want to be part of it. <laughs> Let's hope not, though. I don't want you to put your nose into some shady stuff. But man... Well, since we're at it, let's go wake the others up. Much better. Much, much better. This is the bathroom. Want to explain what the red stuff is, though? It's probably just paint, right? It's gotta be just paint. Oh. Um, die them, watch, and stars see the... The sea. <laughs> see the stars and watch them die. <laughs> Should've had me start on this side. Made me go this way if we're gonna put some dialogue there. But hey, that's just how my personal feelings. Now what's going on here? Why is there a hand there? Why is there more pink paint all over the place? More hands. Paint. And hey, look, it's you. You were in the first game. I remember you. Are you said crystals? Ooh. All right. Oh, hey, look, it's another me. I'm a clone. I guess that also explains why the other person in the front looks just like me. Is that all there is in this room? Just a bunch of clones. Bunch of clones in this greenish, yellowish, tinges, tingy juice. <laughs> this pickle juice. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be all that impressive. <laughs> I say that, but then there's these giant things just all over the place. And then there's clones of me and pickle juice, and then there's hands, and then pink paint all over the floor. Uh, maybe I'm just not. Oh, look. Yeah. Hey. Well, 
Apparently one of you escaped. Unfortunately, I have no idea where they could be have escaped. Why and how? Wait, what do you mean one of me? Well... In this room, as you can see, there are many different yet similar versions of you. I guess it was just a matter of time before you found out. But it can't be. I it was brought here by Pink Society. Did they do this to me? Wait, 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 I, I thought... Oh, you lied! You knew what the Pink Society was all along! <gasps> Betrayed by the only person I knew in this whole entire facility. Yes, but they did it because you're too precious to them. But this way, I won't be anymore. I... I guess it's fine. If they did it, they must have had a reason. No reason to be sad about it, right? Right? Nah, dude. You're a clown. You're a clone. She didn't. She didn't even comment about that. She just just silent. Was like, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, by the way. Good morning, Double X. Oh, that's it. That's it. I just had the world's biggest revelation that I'm a clone, and then that's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Very accepting. Maybe it's just in my genetics and my clone, my cloniness. Hey, Crystal. Hello again, Miss Double X. I just found out there are many copies of myself. Oh, that must have triggered quite the essential crisis. It didn't. I mean, it sure doesn't make me feel good about myself, but... Hey, actually, now that I think about it... Am I even the first me? I'm afraid I cannot answer that question, for I do not know the answer myself. Oh, well, I'll just have to make the most of it out of this time of life. Of course, that's the spirit. Oh, anyway, it seems that one of me actually just escaped. Did you see someone run off somewhere? Now that you asked me, I might have seen a shadow enter room too. I might have to check it out. Alright, you check that out. Other clone me. I'll check this one out. Or this one. Okay. I guess we can check it out together. What's up with this pink space? It's very powerful. Iron balls, giant room that spans to infinity and beyond. Ah, uh, yes. Very excellent. Very be Ooh. Ooh. This seems to be stuck in a loop. A loop? Whatever came here tried to escape and failed. So now a part of them is somehow stuck in this singularity. I didn't understand anything of what you just said. But if whatever you said is true, they're not here anymore, right? Right, we have to proceed into the next room. Okay. Whatever you say, other clone me, I just accept these things. I mean, I have no problems. Will I talk to you or anything? I just admire your face, probably. Okay, well, you're pretty... Dot, dot, dot. Gotta say nice words so she doesn't try to eat me, you know? Be really awkward if she did. Alright, I'm out of here. Is this the next room? How about this one? Must be not that one. Okay. Do I want to sleep sleep? Do I need a pee? Probably don't want to check that out, honestly. <laughs> what all these paint, paint everywhere? Do you want me to come here? No, you did not want me to come here. So what do you mean by the next room? What could you possibly mean by the next of the rooms? You know, when I did download this game, I did see in the comment section that someone said can get to room 3 after the second room. So now I'm starting to get worried. And that makes me pretty sad, because I'm willing to bet that this game is awesome. I mean, so far, I, I like it more than the first one. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference, besides the audio music, but... I think- Oh, hey, look, it's the next room! Aha! Uh -huh. I- I killed a god. I- I swear, I, I didn't do it on purpose. Wait, how did this happen? I don't know, he just kinda touched me. <laughs> you know what? If a god touches you, you have more than- as many rights as you need to kill it back. <laughs> then he turned into this monstrosity, and he isn't moving at all. 
How do you know it's a god? It wants to deal with that thing in your head. I tried to rescue him. He asked if I was right to accept him. I heard his voice clearly in my head, and he said he was a god. So, not just a god, but god himself? I, I don't know, I, I, I think? I, am I an angel now? Double X, am I an angel? How does killing God make you an angel? Alright, come down Lulu. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. What if I just trigger an apocalypse? Someone else already took care of that, so no worries. What? Not a good time to joke around, Double X. By the way, Lulu, have you seen someone like me enter this room? Mmm, uh, I think I saw someone furtively walk around here, but I didn't catch a clear glimpse of how they looked like. I'm sorry, I'm so useless. No, Lulu, you're actually quite helpful. Am I? Ha! Let's go look into room 3 then. Okay. We will look inside room 3. <laughs> I dance all over your bed. So is this like a dead pose? It's, it's just like, oh, you defeated me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Some crazy muscles stimulating in the way so that it just tightens around your head like that. Jesus Christ, fighting gravity to no end. I guess that's what makes him a god. Hoo hoo. Alright, I have brought all of the people that needs to be brought here. Yes, we are the invincible. The strongest of strongest. Why is there so much space just to get to the end? It's a lot of walking. Kind of unnecessary, but hey, that's just my opinion. Hey Lulu, it's going to be alright, huh? You, you know, with a dead god and all. Oh yeah, I already accepted that I will be his angel though. Bring him back to life and all. Oh, and how are you going to do that? I... <clears throat> I don't know, but I know there are messages out there for me. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... <clears throat> caught a code or something like that. Don't worry about me. But you're an angel, you can't catch a code. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like there is no trace of the other you in this room. Mm-hmm. Where's Cristo anyway? Oh, he's up ahead. He saw something interesting ran off. Got it. I'll go look for him then. Alright, well... I guess they aren't my clones. I mean, they kind of look like me, but their hairstyle is a little bit different. So that must mean they're not me. <laughs> so this is the face of the Christos. The face of the Christos? Yes. I guess you could see it like a parasite that feeds off us as we feed off it. We feed off this thing? How? I don't know the exact answer to your question. Once again, it looks like it's in pain, though. Someone tried to hurt it. Is that Lolo back there? <laughs> She tends to do these things to gods. What would they gain from hurting the crystals? Well, nobody else tried, ever. So who knows? Mm, you should go ahead into room 4. <laughs> Why? Why are you telling me to go into all these different rooms? What purpose does it have? Why does this thing have multiple faces? Why are you crystal? How come you make no noise? How come you don't move? You just sit there. Lying on the floor, sitting on the ground, I can't exactly tell. You're just a face. <laughs> Makes things difficult. It's life must be in the rough. I would hate to be Crystal if I was Crystal. And I'm safe, just in case. They tried to escape but failed. Who did this to them? What are you, a rabbit? Adorable. Oh god, creepy Illuminati-like eyeballs all over the place. Music very daunting. Houses everywhere. Paint pink oozing out of the homes. Oh, hi. You. You're the other me. Did you do all this? I'm not you. You are not me. I am YZ. I am here to destroy. Destroy? Why? Because of what Pink did to me. Pink society? They did nothing bad to us. You are way too naive. I like how... She's been lied to all this time about how the pink society has, is not real. That is just in my dreams. And then I know that it's real. And I'm just like, okay. God, she just accepts things way too well. You wouldn't understand the pain I went through because of them. I won't let you go now. Not after what you did. Do you have the strength to punish someone like me? I, uh, just like I said, you are naive. Stay out of my lane. Now I'll let you be. Oh god, you just walked through me. Oh. <laughs> Get in my way and you will regret it. 
Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna get in your way in so many ways. Yeah, let's just say that. Oh, look, I could enter these rooms. Oh, but apparently there's nothing I want to interact with. I see. Uh, it's just ladies, bunnies, and pink stuff all over the floor. Huh. That's interesting. Notice the pink in this room. And notice how that pink oozes out of this door and out this window. Very interesting. Just thought I had to comment that. Lady and two bunnies. I'm assuming that the rest is the same, right? Just a little bits of oddities here and there. Yeah. Probably no secrets. I don't think there is. Oh, hey, look. My friends are here. Did you meet the thumb? <laughs> the thumb? What happened exactly? They killed all the other children. That is a problem. They got out of here somehow. Wait, so they sent me in there knowing very well that there's an entity that killed all the children or it can be possible of causing such devastating, devastating harm to me or just in general and they sent me in alone? Wow. Wow. Jerks. They may go and hurt other people. This is bad, Miss Double X. YZ said they wanted to destroy everything because of what Pink Society did to them. I don't understand. Do you want to follow YZ? We have to. If they killed all those children, who knows what they might be able to do to Pink Society. We're with you then, Double X. It might be dangerous, but we have to do something. It's our responsibility as the survived children of the Christos. Let's be careful, though. We've never been outside. Oh, well, we heard them. We're a team now. Lulu, Luca, and Christo, join your party! Oh wow, look at this. I have a whole team with me. We're gonna go fight. What? Why is Crystal level 1 and everyone else is 11 and 10? Jesus. I think that Crystal would be OP. <laughs> Why did you escape, child? S someone escaped and we're running after them. Well, duh, I know. I already have enough problems. If our leader finds out, please. We don't have much time. Where's Pink Society? I'm Pink Society! <laughs> I mean, I'm part of it. No, I mean, where are the three women? Not behind me or anything. <laughs> three women? Yes. I don't know what you're, who you're talking about, but get back inside or else. What is going on here? Sometimes I don't even know who's talking. But after they finish talking, I guess it kind of makes sense. What if I don't want to go back in? What if I want to follow you? There's probably something powerful later on. Or not. Oh, hey! What's a bunch of kids doing here? It's dangerous. Kids? Kids? Does that lady with crazy white hair and like an orb through the back of her head or an eyeball look like a kid to you? Probably. You really can't tell. I guess we could be kids. And I'm pretty sure we are all the, of the same clones. Except for Lulu. She's a bit different. Unless she made herself that way. I'm sure she's much older than you think. Ultra violence rules. This part of Neo Kriti. So get lost unless you want problems. Alright, I'm getting lost. See ya. <laughs> Our legend leader is Kitty Destruction. He's a legend. You know and Rosabo are pretty great too, but he's he's something else. Oh, I would like to meet said person. I'm sure they're rather magnificent. So basically, we're the biggest group. Outside the pink society, we'll rule the world someday. And who are you exactly? What's your society? You know used to be a famous singer, but she ended up killing half Side City. After you did something to her. Oh god, what is this something? Tell me it's not something the dirty. The nasty. Oh. Oh. Ooh, look, nine ball. Hey, you guys want to sleep in a single bed? I'm sure we could all share. This room must be something significant. Or not. Here I am out of here. That room was useless. 
Rosabelle is so cool. So basically sponsored the entire ultra violence through her fame and money. Man, I love rich people. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I wouldn't expect anything less from your people. Your kind. In a world like the one can you imagine, gender roles are gonna be just a funny story from the past like the plague they are. Okay. No comments for that one. Believe in what you like to believe. So, where should I go next? That is the question. It's kind of nothing that really points out, sticks out to me. We're not really a hive mind. We just have a common goal. To destroy society as you know it. Eh, sounds, sounds wonderful. Lulu, will you please take care of them all? You kill gods, you kill these guys. Did I live under a rock? Uh, sort of. In my own way. Yeah. Alright. What do I do? I can't tell if I can leave this way. But it seems like not. Aha! A triangle of people. And who are you people? We rule this city. Get the hell out. Before we kick you out. I uh... Now, now, girls, what did I say about kindness and manners? Let's welcome our guests properly. Are, are you the leader of this group? I'm Joelle, widely known as Kitty Destruction, but you kids can call me Kitty. Now, what can a group of children be doing in a place like this at a time like this? Rosabelle, what could they be doing? I vote for looking for danger. What about you, Yumo? You know, I say they're looking to straight up Freaking die. Again, girls? What did I say about manners? We're, we're here looking for someone. And who might that be? Well, she looks kind of like me. But has white hair and red eyes. She looks for someone in pink society. Pink society? Well, why didn't you say so sooner? You know pink society? Yes, of course. We're pretty good friends, you see. Then you can help us? That clone already killed a lot of children. Children? Yes, children of the crystals, like us. <gasps> should I have not said crystals? You should come with us. Oh, uh, no, we're homies. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Girls, be gentle with them. Uh, bah, bah. I don't need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Poor things, I don't need to sleep. The ventilation system. It seems to be open, but I can't just run away in front of the guard. Oh, you're the guard. You know, I should be checking on you, but I'm actually falling asleep. This job is boring. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know what? There are two layers of security anyway. You have nowhere to run. I take a nap right here. Good night. I should look for another way out. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Door is locked. Jesus, guys, what do you think my way of escape is? I wonder. <laughs> uh, quite hilarious. Oh, hey, friends. Double X, how did you get here? How come you don't have a guard watching you? I'm so happy to <coughs> see you. Lulu, are you okay? Yes, it's just a bit of code in here. Nothing to <coughs> worry about. You know there's drops of blood in her hand. Oh no. Oh no, she has tuberculosis. But she's like angel, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, I, I hope it's true. It's probably some disease she got from killing a god. You only have yourself to blame. That's all I can say. Wait, you guys get to be together? Little miss, you're here too. Are you okay? I hope they didn't hurt you or anything. They're unironically been pretty kind with us too. <laughs> Couldn't expect it from a group called Ultraviolence. Same, I mean, they've been gentle with me. Was using the term unironically really necessary for that situation? <laughs> Still, why are we even here in the first place? Well, basically because you told them that we're children of the crystals. Seems that we're like walking gold to their eyes. Ah, uh, sorry, you couldn't have known. Oh, it's okay. We just have to find a way out of here. I think I found a way. Follow me. Did I say follow me, or did she say follow me? <laughs> because I'm about to say. Who's supposed to follow who in this case? I like how the word... 
Wait, what is that noise? Noise? Yeah, okay. Oh boy, I bet I shouldn't go that direction, huh? You know what I'm gonna do? Go this direction. Ha! Huh, they must all be sleeping. They're all so silly. Oh god. Rumble. <laughs> ah, there's a sound effect where there's rumbling. What's happening? Seems like someone found another way out. I no, it can't be. You can't imprison me. Rumble can't imprison me. Oh no, it's really her. Is that the escaped clone? Seems like it. Ka, you children, what are you doing outside? We did. We didn't know that this girl was so effed up. She's way more dangerous than expected. Please, we have to stop her. She wants to destroy Pink Society. Is this kid dumb? Does she realize that that's what we want as well? Ha, huh, you idiots. Made me waste so much time. How you don't want to destroy Pink? <laughs> you won't destroy Pink. I'll destroy Pink. This isn't some petty clan fight. This is personal. What did Pink do to you exactly? Please, I want to understand you. You want to understand someone who slaughtered your entire kind? Now that's stupid. Now that kind of makes sense. I haven't wasted enough time in this place. Buh bye <laughs> It's her all along from the first game. Wait. Frick. You know. Grr. Wait, Rosie, I- Ah! Uh, you effin' children, go after that monster. I'll go ki call Kitty. Thanks for letting us go. Get the frick out of here. <laughs> I just denied. So what if she trusts us so much right now? What do we do to gain your trust? I would like to understand what. Why are these guys sleeping? Oh, Jesus. Things just rumbled, and they slept through it all. I don't get it. What happened? There's a monster on the loose. A m m m monster <laughs> Wait, you didn't see it pass by? See, uh, oh god, everyone's just sleeping. Everyone's sleeping on the job. Yikes, you guys must be getting paid pennies to see how much you guys care. Roosevelt ran off after a white-haired chick, but she was almost out of breath, and the other girl was way faster. She must be up ahead. Let's go. Wow, how can you tell? Does she go just like, I'll get you, monster! Oh my god. I, I assume that's, that's exactly what happened. Because how else will you know if you just see a person sprinting across you? You! Wh who is she talking to? The Blacks, most likely. <laughs> Me? This is a disaster. If the children escape, that must have been. I have to report this to Pink. Wait, Pink? Are you one of the three women from Pink Society that brought me to this place? How do you know about us? I kept having dreams for years about three very strong women from this so-called Pink Society. Do you have any idea what it is? I, I don't. Good. <laughs> Just go back to your home. It's the safest place for you children. Wait. My, my clone was looking for you three. She wants to destroy you people. She's like, yeah, I know. It's just cool. It's what's up. That's life. Miss Reyna is so cool. I totally want to be like her. Um, sure. Pink Society is way too powerful for a single little girl to handle. There's no need to worry about us. Yeah, don't worry. I wasn't. I like how everyone's telling me to go home, but then I just keep following. And they're like, oh, you're here? Okay, sure. Tisk. Rescued by a bunch of brats. Cough. Wait, who rescued who? How's it going, sisters? Are you alright? Tisk. Does it look like I'm some weak ace snowflake? I'm okay. Cough. 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 <laughs> Did she do this? Nice giant hole in the ground. Yeah, she's a real beast. I don't understand. Rosie, are you okay? What happened here? Ah, frick. I didn't want you to see me like this. Cough. It's nothing really. 
Monster Girl's a natural beast and kicked my ass. She'll be sorry if I find her. You have no hopes against her unless we somehow outsmart her. Which may be really easy since girl's real angry and isn't thinking right. Why do you want to get her? Are you dumb? Her blood is as precious as gold. She probably hides the richest crystal nest ever. To put it simple, she's a walking wishing star and she doesn't even know. Oh, wouldn't it be bad to abuse her? Isn't it bad that she killed her whole frickin' kind? No, we're still around. <laughs> Does she even deserve human rights at this point? Also, if she's after pink society, that means she probably wants to kill half the current population of this planet. And I doubt that even then she would just stop. You may be right, but... God, this is why I don't want children. Y'all are dumb as she yets. I get it, that someone like her is probably no longer human, but even I don't want to hurt her. Then, cough, go home. Ignorance is bliss, you'll be safe forever. We're going up ahead. There's a pink society outpost where we can rest for now. Bye! Oh no, buh? Just bye, you're lame. Double X, just know that I'm with you whatever you do, okay? Lulu, thank you. Guys, I really have no idea what's going on in this story. Like, I have loose pieces all over the place, but I don't really understand. Where are we exactly? What's our society? What's their society? Where are the crystals? They're the pinks. What's going on? What, what does our god do? Like, I know Lulu killed one of our gods and the other god is injured, but how come it has no, no saying in all this? You can sleep in that bed if you want. Stay freaking quiet in our house. And do these guys care about our gods? Do these guys want to kill our gods? Um, what's going on? Be sure to not cause problems and stay in here until we give further instructions. Well, what if I don't want to screw him here? But bye As you would put it. Or you used to put it. Now it's just bye. You used to have so much personality. What happened to you? Good night. All right, girls. We're going to share the single twin size bed. Sakai, are you really going to send all those children to that place? That's the only place for beings like them. Children of the crystal who are defective are useless to us. Wait, Sakai? Who's Sakai? Which one of them Sakai? Game one Sakai. And let's not forget how dangerous they are. Is that the furthest to the right? What about those? The black haired and the white haired one. Those, those are interesting. They could be actually used for something more. We can just clone them until a not defective one is born eventually. Is that so? Let's start the mass production then. Such a cruel fate though. You can't afford to be human if you want to live in the current state of this world. Oh, how I wonder. Do stars dream of us? Do you think they look down at our sins and suddenly judge us? Right for the day they will inflict divine punishment upon us? Don't tell me that's the ending. They just teleported when I woke up. Wow. I'm offended. They just left us like that. Alright, so game one, Sakai is around. And she wants to clone. Or, no, that was a flashback. The OG. So far back in the past, we got cloned. Okay, so that's the story there. Big society is about creating a new order where all the people affected by the crystals can live happily and die with dignity. Sakai is our savior. The people from the group, Ultraviolence, should respect her way more. They sound like good people. I wonder why the Ultraviolence and YZ are against them. <laughs> I was just thinking back to that scene. I'm like, wow. I just noticed that they said the title screen. They play that dramatic music. Oh, just so they could have that title screen. Ah, oh, jeez. <coughs> Sakai, Mariah, and Reina are the most powerful women in the current state of this world, and for good reasons. The OG girls, huh, from game one. I know they were members of an old group called the Crystals Club. It all revolves around crystals anyway, doesn't it? The Crystals Club operated in a small city in Japan. The crystals spread from there mainly, but they reached their peak in neo Criti. -Cri -Cri Many people have died, but apparently the Crystals Club are the ones who are trying to keep everyone safe. Pink Society is carrying out their will to keep everyone safe and reforming society for all they can. I don't know. It all somehow manages to sound really fishy to me. 
They were or are trying to save people from the crystals while spreading them like a mad man-made disease. I trust them. Maybe they were focused, forced to spread the crystals in the first place. I don't think anyone would do that willingly. It still doesn't add up. But maybe you're right. Who knows? Oh god, don't tell me you're gonna try and make the player figure out why they did that. A lot of people ended up dying, killing themselves up on these trees. But these trees have actually been researched by the people at Pink Labs. They're part of a complex called Nest. The Nest seems to accumulate energy from the people who die on the trees. We conclude that the parasite probably pushes people to become energy sources for these nests. Whatever it is, it's just trying to spread until it finally devours the whole planet. But since the only survivors are infected by the crystals, does this mean that the whole world is bound to end uh, one way or another? I'm scared. No, I'm sure this is a test for me, from God himself. I'm the angel that is supposed to free us from the chains of the crystals. Do you trust Lulu? I do, but... Then there's nothing to worry about. Leave it to me. Y yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Lulu. <laughs> I'm telling you, Lulu's OP. Just let her do what she's got to do. She kills gods. She slays them. The other lady, she injures gods. But this one just blanks and then one's dead. Something like that. I'm sure that's the canon. Get lost, children. This is the one entry. This is the entry to a very dangerous place. Oh, I've seen my dangerous zones before. Don't you worry. <laughs> Okay, very pink, very blank. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's the girls. <clears throat> Why did you follow me here? Stop chasing me around. Oh, hey, it's the girl that we're hunting down. I don't need to hurt you, but I will. Why are you children here? You should be locked in your... Who is that? Who is who? Enough talking. I got the keys to the pink labs. Now, I'm going to destroy it. Mother, wait for me. I'm going to save you. Mother, out of my way. <laughs> uh, should we chase after Are, are you going to chase after her? Um, did, did you give her the key? You dumb, stupid children are here now. I can't believe we failed to contain such a danger to society. And here I thought my plan was perfect. Apparently, I still have much to learn, huh? Who are you? Pa. Oh, you're not cat. I'm Arai, one of the leaders of Pink Society, but I don't have time for my standard introduction. I have to go. Wait. I want to know about YZ. Why does she want to destroy you guys? Who knows? She's just a defective one anyway. That's cruel. Boo hoo. See how much I care about insulting someone who wants me dead. You're a naive one, aren't you? Uh. Come with me to the pink labs. We gotta stop that monster. You can come in handy. Alright, where's the pink labs? I don't know such locations. Can't can, can we just follow you? Can't you just teleport us there? I don't know where these pink labs are. And how'd you walk so fast when you were moving so slowly? God. You are a ninja. <laughs> oh, is this where pink society the labs are? <laughs> okay. Please tell me there's a door inside. Please tell me there's a door inside. There's still a possibility that there's a door inside. She didn't get a key just to go down a hole. I think that's the door. Okay. Alright. Whew. So from what I got from my girls and this woman here, a monster who has escaped a secret pink society facility. Oh, so we are part of pink? We're called crystals, but we're actually part of the pink society? Trying to destroy pink society from the inside. Well, this should be good for us. My girls seem to somehow like you guys now. <laughs> really? They just all decided? Congrats, I don't though. But I do admire a 10 year old. Walking almost alone in the current state of this world, going after a monster that could easily kill her. I'm, try I'm assuming she's Cat, but she could also be Sakai or Mirai, main character girl. So I sent some of my other girls to deal with the monster. You'll pay for it eventually. For now, we have to cooperate. <laughs> oh, jeez. You'll pay for escaping. <laughs> the thanks. 
Oh, honey, you can call me Kitty. Oh, yeah, you are Kitty. Thanks, Mr. Kitty. At it, girl. Mr. Kitty? Oh, all right, sure. Mm. Is your real friend there a little paler than normal? The white hair girl? It's... <coughs> Nothing, really. I just... I just... Just... Eh, eh, eh. Lulu, are you okay? Honey, she is very clearly not okay. <laughs> it, it must be a trial from God. Maybe he's testing me. See? Now she's going mad. God damn it. Bring her to a safe place. No, you don't understand. There's a real God inside her. The only gods there are have abandoned us long ago. Anything that is inside your friend right now is nothing but a parasite trying to stay alive by devouring its host from the inside. There, that is your god. Nothing but a bloodsucker. A leech. If I'm not wrong, there's a safe pink society outpost not far from here. Take your friend there. I'll try to get some help. Th thanks. I, I thought you didn't like us. I thought you ultra-violence guys were terrible people. I was wrong. Just go. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. We caught a big fish thanks to you guys. This one likes to talk a lot. Wait, you caught a big fish thanks to us? You you, you caught her? Thanks to us? What do we do? <laughs> we kind of just followed her. That's it. We didn't do any fighting. We, we didn't trap her. We just escaped from our prisons and followed. Alright, maybe it's, it's just that little pink lie they, they tell you to make you feel better because you're 10 years old. That could be it. Where am I going exactly? Um, they told me to go to a place. I don't know where I'm going to. Somewhere for Lulu to feel better. Ooh, ooh, I don't think I actually know where that is. Oh, here. That was stupid. So very stupid. In the end, there was no trial from God. You know, though, I am happy. I got to go on an adventure with you. I kept a diary, <laughs> diary while we were at it. When did you do it? When did you have time? How did your belongings not get confiscated when you got captured? It was like writing a little story about me and my favorite person ever. I just hope you don't get mad at me if you do read it. Wait, didn't we just meet? I think... I don't uh -huh. have much time at this point. My biggest regret is I want to grow old with you, Double X. I only want to sniff. Wow. I hope God or whatever this thing is. Well, let me reincinerate in your future pet. Yeah. Reincarnate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Incinerate <laughs> your future pet cat. Uh, that, was, that was all me. I hope the stars are watching. Maybe they're dreaming of us, Double X. Lulu. Oh, and Lulu is dead. The most OP of us girls. Goodbye. <laughs> and then she coughed herself to death. Damn, that's so sad. Ah, oh, so devastating. Gosh, she just vanished to thin hair. Probably turned to dust. We inhaled her. Oh, well, at least she's now part of us forever. I don't know. I don't know the actual canon. I'm just making things up. But she died. Damn, Lulu. Damn. Poor Lulu. She had so many things going for her. She had killed a god. She could have done so much more with her life. But what happened? A parasite got to her. Wow, I, I, I don't understand that. It's locked. It's locked. Ah, very, very good use of all the space they have. <laughs> we made a very long building. All right, well, we don't want these windows to stare at uh, uh, a wall. So let's cover it with blinders. Some some screen, I mean. <laughs> yes, very genius. Oh, gosh. Ah. XYZ clones, the result of the experiment for the mass production of children of the crystals. Okay. 
right, all right, all right, all right. So are these all uh, other me's? At some point, they just move it to the other facility. Mother's containment. This laboratory is where the XYZ project takes place. We've been working on it for almost five whole years. We are registering an insane amount of power coming from Mother's containment room. Defective children are dangerous and unstable and must be isolated. It's all morally wrong, but in this world, it's so exploit or be exploited. I'm staying out of that monster's way. You kids should just go somewhere safe and let Sakai and the girls handle everything. I wonder if our leaders are powerful enough to stop that monster. Who are you? You're not kitty, are you? So it's true. All of you escaped. What do you think you're doing? Gonna do? Ask YZ to please stop whatever she's doing and come back here where you'll be happy forever as friends. I... I never liked handling children. I just want to know why she, did she do all this? Because she's defective. I tried to isolate her, but she somehow managed to escape with the help of your friend there. Oh, Lulu. So now I have to terminate a perfectly healthy champion Z, apparently. Wow, that's rude. Are we also chimpanzees? That doesn't explain why she would do all this. Why don't you go and ask her? Do you think she'll be in the mood to answer your questions? It's worth trying, I think. She reached mother. Playtime's over. Okay. Uh, what's happening? I can't move. Oh, don't tell me I'm in her way. She's trying to move right, but because I'm in her way, she can't... Ah, uh, why? Alright. Alright, you better not bug out on me again. I swear to god, we're, we're reaching that end. There we go. There she goes. Right. Our turn. We gotta follow suit. Follow suit. Follow suit. Yeah, sayings. I know them. <laughs> hey, what are you? Are you mother? I, seen, I saw a million of you guys. And look, there's a million of you guys here too. What's going on? Who are you? I can't tell if this cross thing is like a weapon or is it stabbing right through them. I, I don't know. But I'm sure some something epic happened. Oh, mother. Finally. Wait a goddamn minute. That thing is her mother? Shut up. Shut up. I have waited so long. So, so long. Finally, I could be one with her. Oh, mother. Wait, so she's not a clone? She's actually something else? Oh, wait, she did say that, didn't she? That she was YZ. It's time to quit playing, YZ. Playing? Do you think I'm playing? You dumb, stupid bastard. Um, actually, I'm a female, so... Uh, at least insult me the proper way. You people mass-produce us by abusing mother until she transformed into a crystal monster. And for what? Because you want to reform society? You destroyed society. I've been listening for years to what you and your friends there said about the crystals. You're the reason why this world's fricked. And you dare act like a goddamn savior? I loathe you. I can hear mother's wishes and prayers. She wishes for me to annihilate you all. This is it. <laughs> I like how she's like. I've reached the peak of my power. <laughs> what is happening? Her frail human body cannot contain the amount of power she's trying to convey. Wait, what? Does, wait, what? So she had all this power inside her that she could not convey. She. <laughs> uh, it's. You understand why I'm confused, right? She has all this power. She's trying to use all this power, but using it is what destroys her, not having it in the first place. Got it. Basically, she's going to explode and bring us all down to hell with her. I mean, I guess that could make sense, but... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Alright, that's my bad again. This is bad. We have to run now. Ah -ha 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 -ha! This is... <laughs> cough. The power of a superior child of the crystals. Cough. Whoa. Ooh. She just woed herself. <laughs> My power. 
Whoa! Amazing. I don't want to go outside. I want to go this way. Nope, it's locked. All right, we'll go outside. What's cool out here? Stars. I wonder if they're dreaming of us. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me that this thing is like five bajillion miles away. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey, look. Person. You know, in the end, it was pretty interesting to see an entire universe get destroyed like that. Oh, she, she woed the universe. She just woed it off. Was it now? It was doomed to end anyway. At least it did with a big boom. The stars are beautiful in this universe. Yeah. You know, I can't help but wonder. Do the stars dream of us? Do stars dream of dead people? And then it's over. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am so blown away by this game. These two games. I, I think I like the first one more now. <laughs> no offense. It's just that the this, this story was kind of all over the place. We were brought into a universe. A huge time skip from the first game. And I don't know exactly what happened. I, I still don't understand what these crystals are. Don't exactly know who YZ is. I don't know who the mother is. I, I don't know if... Sakai? Was that the name of the main girl from the first game? I don't know if she was in this game. I think that was her. I don't know if she was in there in the final fight. Or maybe Sakai was the mother. But then again, what is going on? What is going on? Maybe it's just me who's confused and don't understand this. Overall, I don't think that this is a bad game. I think it just needs to pace a little better. Clarify its story a little bit better unless you guys understand it all understood it all and it was just all me in the end then sure i'll take the blame for that i'll admit to those wrongs but i do think that it does have to explain the story a little bit better pace a little bit better um use sound effects I, uh, there's no reason to say rumbo when you could use the rumbo sound effects it's actually inside the rpg maker each of the engine, not just to a specific one that you don't use, it's in all of the RPG makers. But hey, that's just me maybe saying Rumbo enhances the experience for other people. But I think for this game's case, actually using the Rumbo sound effects would sound would make it feel better. More immersive, I think, perhaps. Also, there was a lot of space. In some cases I found it yeah. Yeah, it could be necessary, but in a lot of cases, I didn't find it necessary, especially when all I wanted to do was just sprint past it. If you want to use that long space to maybe turn it into a cutscene, have the player have it play out that way. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I do think it's fine for the player to just walk through it too, but it, it all depends on the sort of way you built it up and how it plays to the cinematics, the emotions, and all that. It's just my preference. Again, maybe you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If the developer happens to stumble upon these videos, I mean no offense in the things that I said while playing this. Of course I don't. I enjoyed it for how it was. It's just that there's a little things that can enhance its um, storytelling and enhance the emotions that you're trying to convey. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this sort of stuff, then consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye bye.